Hello, this is the second part of the how to create interlocking circles tutorial. It is recommended that you have watched the first part. I will include a link to it at the end of this video. Today I'm going to show you how to add a radial gradient to these circles. Using the direct selection tool, select both parts of the green circle. Now open the gradient window, click on the green fill and drag it to the gradient slider. Let's change the type to radial. Now click on the green color tab and drag it to the right. Click on it again, hold and drag it to the left. While you are dragging your mouse, press the Alt key to make a copy. Then click on the right color tab and drag it down to delete it. Now move the right color tab to the edge of the slider. Next select the lighter shade of green, click on it, hold and drag to place it between the two green color tabs. Press the letter G to show the gradient annotator. Now we will use the guides that we have created at the beginning. To show the guides, press the CTRL and semicolon keys on your keyboard. With the gradient tool still selected, click in the center of the green circle, hold and drag to the edge of the circle. We could leave it as it is or we can adjust it even more. To adjust a gradient directly on an object, first switch to the direct selection tool and then select the left green part of the circle. Now adjust the gradient. Notice that only the left part of the circle is being adjusted. When you are done, press the letter I for the eyedropper tool and click on the left part to get a sample. Now, while you are holding down the Alt key, click on this part to apply all the same attributes. Next, select the two parts of the red circle, then switch to the eyedropper tool and get a sample from the green circle. Now go to the gradient panel and let's change the colors for this gradient. First select the left color tab and while you are pressing down the Alt key, click on a different color to apply it to the gradient. Then select the right color tab and apply the same color. Finally select the middle color tab and apply a lighter shade of red. Now let's adjust the gradient. Press the letter G on your keyboard to show the gradient annotator on the screen. Notice that we have now two gradients, one for the top part and one for the bottom. Click on the top gradient annotator, hold and drag it down to line up with the center of the red circle. Then click on the end of it and drag to resize it. Now adjust the color stop's position. Next grab the small gradient annotator and do the same. Let's switch to the direct selection tool and select the two parts of the blue circle. Then switch to the eyedropper tool and get a sample from the green circle. Let's change the colors like we did before. Select the left color tab and pick up dark blue. Select the middle color tab and choose light blue. Next select the last color tab and choose the same dark blue. Now press the letter G for the gradient tool. Then click in the center of the blue circle, hold and drag to apply the gradient. Finally hide the guides. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.